the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 270, Zechariah 11 to 14. Festival of Tabernacles kept by Lamnantis. God, who did not give up Israel to the end, held on to the returned community with endless love and threw his arms around them. First point God told Zechariah that the Messiah, Jesus Christ, would be betrayed for 30 pieces of silver. During the times Zechariah ministered, it was common sense that the sheep to be slaughtered was not fed beforehand, but God told Zechariah to feed the sheep that were to be slaughtered. In other words, God told Zechariah to take care of sheep that were soon to die. Zechariah obeyed God. He obeyed God's command, which went against the common sense of the time. God explained that although God took care of and loved his sheep, they in return were not grateful and despised their shepherd. This was a warning that although Jesus would come to take care of his sheep, they would despise him. This was also a reference to Judas Iscariot. God declared that the Israelites who refused and rejected God would be punished. Eventually, the Israelites who rejected the Messiah would be punished and scattered throughout the earth, but the remnants would be saved. God spoke to Zechariah about the false shepherds who would cause pain to his people. The false shepherd would not go to look for his lost sheep and not tend his sick sheep. However, this false shepherd would be punished by God in the end. Second point, God proclaimed that on that day, the people would lament and repent. God declared that although the surrounding countries would come to attack Jerusalem, God would protect his people and save them. Jerusalem was the place selected by God through David to house God's ark. It was Jerusalem that God judged. But after 70 years passed and the people served their punishment, God was to lift them up again. In time, God promised to protect them and to be with them. This was the consoling message God gave to the people through Zechariah. God told Zechariah that he would protect the Israelites from their enemies. God declared that he would make Jerusalem a cup that would send all the surrounding peoples reeling. God said that he would make Jerusalem an immovable rock and also would strike every horse with panic and his rider with madness. Furthermore, God would make the clans of Judah like a fire fort in a wood fire, like a flaming torch among sheaves. God proclaimed that on that day, the people would receive an enormous amount of power from God. The people were to repent for their sins and experience the new glory of Jerusalem. God would take care of the sheep that even the shepherd disposed of, and God would make a new history with and through them. Now God spoke of the repentance of the people. Third point, God told Zechariah about how the Messiah would suffer and how the people would be protected. God told Zechariah that the people would become purified from their sins. Moreover, idols, false prophets, and dirty ghosts would disappear. The Messiah, however, would suffer for the people's sins, for the people to receive God's protection. God went on to explain how suffering would come upon Christians towards the end of the earth. On that day, two thirds will be struck down and perish. Fourth point, God told Zechariah of the Lord's day that he also told to Isaiah, Amos, Zephaniah, Joel, and Ezekiel. 
The day of the Lord is coming, Jerusalem, when your possessions will be plundered and divided up within your very walls. God had proclaimed the coming of that day to Isaiah, Amos, Zephaniah, Joel, and Ezekiel. God once again repeated this message to Zechariah. On the Lord's day, darkness would fade, and the spring of water would flow, and all of God's people would be at peace. This message was also recorded in Revelation. On that day, all those who attacked God's people would be cursed. Their flesh will decay. They will fight among themselves, and they will lose their possessions. Fifth point, the remnants would remain to keep God's festival. God now spoke of the victory of the kingdom of the Messiah. The remnants would be able to keep the holy festivals, and those who are not among them would be cursed. All would become purified on the Lord's day. The messages related to the Messiah that God told Zechariah were the following. Branch, seven-eyed stone, the priest, humble king, cornerstone, tent peg, battle bow and ruler, the thirty pieces of silver, the pierced man, cleansing from sin, and so on. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 